In the parable Jesus tells today about the two brothers who were asked by the father to work in the vineyard, one of the brothers says he'll work in the vineyard, but then he doesn't do it. The other says he doesn't want to, but ultimately he does the work he was told to do. Jesus says that it was the brother who did the actual work, not the one who said he would do the work, who did the will of the father. It reminds me of the old question, if you were arrested for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Imagine if you actually were arrested and your court date came up and there needed to be evidence, some proof that you're a Christian and the proof can't be jewelry, can't be a cross that you wear or a bumper sticker on your car, not even a meme that you put up on your Facebook page. It would have to be based on the way you live, the things you did. Would your activities in church be such that it could be evidence? You attend worship regularly, receive communion, go to confession. If the authorities searched your vehicle or your house, would they find anything incriminating? A well-read Bible, an icon corner, holy water from the Feast of Theophany, palms from Palm Sunday. What if they looked at your bank statements and the checks that you wrote? Would there be any evidence found there? What if the prosecution subpoenaed a record of the TV shows you watch or the internet sites you visited? What would that say about your commitment to Christ? If the people who know you best were called to testify under oath, what would they offer up as evidence? Or would they acquit you? Would the judge's gavel come down with a bang as he said, case dismissed, not enough evidence? Jesus said, it's not what we say, but what we do. Our actions show the disposition of our heart. I'm Father Alexis, and remember, Christ is in our midst.